So today I'm going to be going over a couple of Ninza's brand new indicators, the support and resistance radar, and also the Hike and Ashi and RSI blend. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and attach this support and resistance radar, and I'm also going to attach it over on the one minute chart. And as well, I'm going to add the Hike and Ashi RSI blend indicator. I'm also going to leave this one just as it is, except on the markers, I'm going to change it so it's just some blank arrows and there's no words, so it's a little easier to see. All right, and then we've got our basic setup. You can see how these two indicators would work well together in a system. So I'm on a market replay connection. Uh, these lines are calculating in real time, so they're constantly changing throughout the day. So I wanted you to get a good idea of what it looks like in real time as it's happening. One thing about this support and resistance radar is it changes uh, it it changes based on the number of days you have loaded. So if you're seeing too many lines on the charts, I've got five days loaded. I'll change that down to two, and you see it took out a couple lines there. So we'll just have two days loaded on the one minute, and then we have five days loaded over on the five minute. Uh, something else I want to add real quick. This is a free indicator from Ninza. You can get it from their website, the bar status. It's a really great timer indicator, uh, but it also works on range and Rinko charts. It'll create levels for those type of charts. Uh, I'm going to make this font a little bit bigger. Now we have this timer countdown for each one minute candle. Just a lot easier to see. So I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this line right here, even though it didn't form a peak line, these blue lines, it, it's still a really big level, so I'm definitely keeping an eye on that. And as you can see, price bounced down right off of that level. And now we're getting a bearish Heiken Ashi RSI blend signal, this pink arrow here. And it looks like we're also printing a pink bearish Heiken Ashi can candle down here. And we're also in an overbought area. And something else I'm noticing is that price is a lot higher here than it is right here. But the Heiken Ashi RSI indicator is lower here, even though the price is higher. And the Heiken Ashi indicator is higher over here, but price is lower. So that's a divergence right there. So this short's looking pretty good. I'd say if it had a candle that closed below this uh, blue line here that the support and resistance radar is drawing, I would be interested in entering a short, maybe trying to catch it down to this next line, and I'd put my stop above the highs here so we can see what happens here. So this candle is about to close. Let's see if it closes below the line. It did. So I'm going to go ahead and Getting into a short, put my stop right above the highs there, and my target's going to be a little bit above this blue line just to give it a, a good chance at working. But you know, it's about that's about an 18 point move right there. Uh, we've got bearish candles printing down here. We've got the bearish arrow, and we're looking to target this next line on the support and resistance radar. And right away at the open, it hits that level. I do have the market playback sped up to uh, two times, so it's a little bit faster. So I'm also looking over at the five minute and looking at levels that might match up so we can have some areas of confluence that might be stronger than another. Um, you could also use uh, your own methods of support and resistance or areas on a volume profile to match up and see if there's any lines that match up. The, I mean, the more lines that match up, the better. So. so right now we can see that this support line held, had a little bounce right back up, another 20 points. Um, I definitely wasn't looking for a bounce right there with all this bearish action, but if you're a scalper, there's endless possibilities to catch little bounces here and there. 
as you can see the market hit that blue support and resistance radar level and bounced right up over 20 points another scalping opportunity if that's your thing so this is a pretty big support but uh, it's looking pretty bearish still I don't wouldn't want to get into a counter trend trade right at the moment uh, you know, it did bounce seven or eight points there. But, you know, what I'm noticing over here on the five minute chart is that we have a level at right around 95. Um, got another level that matches up here, 95 on the one minute. So if that holds, let's say if we get a close back above this blue line, uh, I might take a trade long up to this blue line. Looks like it's about to close there. So, candle closed above there. I'm going to put my take profit right by this blue line. Going to move my stop right below the lows there. So now we're getting price rising a little bit on the RSI down here. Looks like it's coming up out of the overbought zone. We just got a blue arrow printed. Uh, it happened a little bit too quick. It wasn't... Maybe we still get in. I'm gonna target this next blue line up here. So we had the blue arrow, uh, the I can actually candles have turned blue. It's coming up out of this overbought area. And it was a good spot to take a trade up to the next line of support or resistance. And uh, right now it looks like this big thick blue line is going to hold. And just, just bounce 20 points right off that line. So I'm definitely interested more in the long side. We've got the blue hike and ashy candles and we're coming up out of the overbought area uh, I'd say if it can break above uh, break above this blue line it's hit it so many times it's hit right there right there right there right there right there right there um, I think if it does break it'll be a be a pretty big move so I'm gonna set a buy order so if it does break above that level I'll be targeting this next blue line up here as long as everything stays bullish so I'm going to move my tart right below that line Whoop. that was quick I would have moved my stop down below these lows right here these candle wicks I just didn't have time so we're coming up this blue line again and it's right at the whole number uh, 500 I know on the NQ price tends to act a little wonky around whole numbers. Sometimes it'll break through and sometimes it'll reject pretty hard and other times it'll just kind of range right around the whole number for a while. So I'm just going to wait and see what price wants to do um, for a little bit, see how it acts around this level. Let's say if it did close down below this blue line again with the red candle, I'd probably try to ride it down to uh, this next support line. We dipped down but we didn't close below this blue line so I'm still waiting for a close below. So that, that candle closed below. Um, oh, that was another really quick one. Uh, it, I am playing it at two times speed just so it's not a super boring video but um, yeah, I would have put my stops uh, either above this high or above this high. But this would have been a better risk-reward ratio. But once this candle closed below, uh, we had this rejection off this line. Again, kind of a double top. Um, I was definitely looking to at least get down to here. We had the bearish Heike and Ashy candles, and it was headed down out of the overbought region. It's definitely chopping in this range of 
uh, these support levels, support and resistance levels. Let's just chop them back and forth here where we got a bunch of them. See, we're getting a lot of wicks on these Heikinashi candles. Um, so it wasn't a super strong downtrend right there. And once we started getting all these wicks, the price went up. Same as here as the wicks got bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, price price reversed. Same with here, the wicks. You start seeing all the wicks, you know it's about to turn and go the other direction. There's lots of ways to use this indicator. You got the Heikinashi bar color, you got the wicks appearing, uh, overbought and oversold, uh, there's divergences. So price came down and you can see this uh, thick blue line here is giving it, giving it some issues. It's going up and down. It's, it's ranging around this blue line for the moment. A couple of scalping opportunities possibly there. Then we had price come up and bounce right off this blue line. Down 15 points. So we got this blue line of this big line of support here and then right below it there's another pretty big area of support down at 360 uh, definitely somewhere in there I'd be potentially interested in a long. What I'm noticing is uh, price is moving much lower than it was here, but the RSI was uh, much lower here. And now that price is lower, the RSI is still high. So there's some divergence right there. Uh, if it does come down to this level, I'd be interested in at least a little scalp trade. Um, it hasn't been a hasn't been a crazy move down. It's kind of been slow and going up and down. So let's see if we could hop in here. So I got in right in the middle of this level here. Uh, put my stop just a little bit below that last area. Uh, tick profit. There's this, there's this blue line up here, right where this last low was. So I moved my take profit to just a little bit before that. It's a good 20 points or so. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice, that was a nice bounce there. So now we have another blue signal. We have another blue arrow for the Heiken Ashi RSI blend. Um, We've got our bars turning blue. It looks like it's trying to cup, come up out of this overbought area. Just after this big down move, I wouldn't necessarily want to hop in on another uh, long. It's already, I already got the first touch here. I usually don't take second or third touches of a line. So I would kind of wait on the sidelines to see what is happening, but you see price is going lower and the RSI is still staying higher than it was over here. So I'm definitely more interested in a long rather than a short at the moment. Um, I say if it could close back above this blue resistance line here. Uh, I would take it back up to this next blue line here. I'm gonna move my take profit to right before that blue, right before that blue line. I move my stop right below that last low and below the blue line. Um, below these candle wicks might be a better option, but I don't want to make the risk to reward ratio too bad there. But we got our bullish Heikinashi candle. We're still in this bullish Heikinashi arrow signal. Uh, should be able to get back up to this next blue line. And there we go. And now it is almost 11 o'clock and I'm usually done by 10.30 or 11. So that's it for me today. But as you can see, there's plenty of trading opportunities throughout the day and you could incorporate these lines in pretty much any system that you have. Um, doesn't have to be this particular indicator combo, but uh, it does work really well. 
especially if you're using a multi-time frame analysis and uh, other areas of confluence, that, that will help for sure.